Hey guys, Dave Duford here with five tips to be successful at final expense telesales. Let's jump right in. My name is David Duford at Duford Insurance Group, where I train and recruit agents nationally to become top producing insurance professionals, selling things like final expense Medicare and annuities face to face and over the phone. If you'd like more information on how joining my agency works, there's links above or below. Just click on them. It'll take you to my website where you can learn more how it works. So five top tips to be successful at selling final expense over the phone. Let's jump right in. First one, and these are not in any particular order, just a list of all important elements. Number one on the list, though, is having the right kind of leads. So here's the problem with final expense telesales these days, guys. Not all leads are created equal. Some leads are better than others when selling over the phone. And you want to make sure that you buy the right kind of leads at the right kind of price and then the right kind of volume in order to make sure that you give yourself the best chances of success. For example, one of the things that have changed as of mid-2021 is that I do not recommend that the final expense agent doing telesales buy purchased Facebook leads. Maybe you've seen that video where uh, I go off on the state of Facebook final expense lead vendors. They're not good in, in, anymore in any large capacity, especially if you're selling over the phone. The price is too high, the quality is too low. So you wanna make sure that you work with organizations that have vetted lead vendors, that know certain lead vendors do a good job and are consistently delivering high quality and therefore can get you in front of good final expense prospects to sell over the phone. So of course, the Ford Insurance Group knows who's good and certainly knows who's bad. So you want to make sure your vendor or your agency that you're partnering with knows the same too. Number two on the list here is the right work ethic. Guys, if you're going to do well on final expense telesales, it requires a unique form of work ethic that is unique and separate from even face-to-face -face sales. Because here's what exactly is going to happen. You're going to sit down in your home pick up the phone and dial for eight to 10 hours a day. You're actually gonna eventually be bored because you're gonna be doing so many calls and so many people aren't gonna pick up. Some of the calls will never proceed. And you always have to be focused. You always have to be driving forward. And all the while, you can't let what's happening outside of your room distract you from the work that you're trying to complete. So it's an unusual type of profession, um, whereas many you know, for many years, most of telesales was done inside of a call center where managers could breathe down your back and make sure you're working and would listen in on your scripting and make sure you follow the scripts. But nowadays, more people are selling from their homes in their offices, and they don't have the same kind of managerial motivational techniques to worry about. So if you're going to get into telesales and selling final expense, make sure that you're prepared and focused. Make sure you have a script that works well. Make sure that you're following the process correctly. Make sure that you're executing every single day, doing what is required to get the most important inputs in, those being the dials, picking up the phone and making the calls. Number three on the list here, of course, I kind of preempted it there a moment ago, the right script. What you say on the phone is entirely different than what you would say face-to-face. -face. More specifically, the tonality. The enthusiasm you have to have in combination with what the script says varies and is, is very important if you want to have any kind of success long term in selling over the phone. Here's the thing with telesales versus face to face. Telesales, you don't have your warm body in their home. You don't have eye contact, handshakes. You can't read body language. You have to learn how to sell in a way where you can read people by how they say things. You have to sell in a way to where you overemphasize the importance of tonality, of energy, of the variation in your tone to get an important point delivered where if you sold face-to-face, -face, maybe you wouldn't have to have worried about that reception too much because it just kind of happens naturally. It is an entirely different process to be successful over the phone than it is face-to-face. -face. You want to make sure that your script has been vetted and that there are agents who are doing it with success consistently. Don't just trust the person who's only sold face-to-face -face for your training needs to sell over the phone. Find an agency that supports, like the Ford Insurance Group, on a training basis and carrier basis to sell over the phone final expense successfully. 
Number four on the list, of course, is the right training and reinforcement, really kind of an extension of the first, the third point, which is you got to make sure that the training you receive is unique and special for the telesales agent. Because again, it's different training a face-to-face -face agent. It is in very much the same kind of strategy, the same prospects, sometimes the same leads even. But how you deliver the presentation is entirely different. You got to make sure that there's special training involved with how you deliver the script, uh, how you explain concepts, how you go deep into rapport building, how you go deep into pre-qualifying, and making sure all of that is in place and that there is a process of training to reinforce these fundamentals so that you learn, adapt, analyze, and improve and repeat that process over and over. Number five on the list here is making sure that you have the right carriers. Not all final expense carriers, even the ones that are okay and allow for telesales aren't necessarily created equal. There are some final expense carriers that get final expense telesales that you wanna put your business with because they make it easy in combination with being good options for your clients. But there is a host of carriers that claim to be telesales friendly but are the exact opposite. They don't render instant decisions. They make your clients sign an electronic signature. Oh, terrible. Mildred doesn't know how to use her email, much less her phone or access the internet. So why would you do business with a company that forces that? So you want to make sure the carriers you get are friendly for the phone. We like verbal authorization application processes where the client can sign verbally and not worry about electronically signing anything. And when you combine all of these factors together, again, down the list, having the right leads, the right script, the right work ethic, the right training and reinforcement and the right carriers, you're going to give yourself the best chances of success in selling final expense over the phone successfully. And even without a lack of one of these five issues, you're going to find yourself up the stream without a paddle. And in final expense telesales, bottom line, hate to say it, but it's true, it is harder than face-to-face. -face. Telesales is more difficult than face-to-face. -face. So having all of these uh, opportunities, these characteristics in your favor, is going to give you the best chance of success and not having one or more of these just re increases your chances of failure that much more. So don't avoid these, embrace these, and join an agency that will have all of these, which DeFord Insurance Group does. So if you're interested in learning more about how Final Expense Telesales works with us, simply click the links above or below to learn more about how the DeFord Insurance Group opportunity works for Final Expense Telesales, as well as Medicare annuities and other stuff too. If you have any questions, leave them below or comments. You're welcome to. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. We'll see you all next time. Take care.